Today we're going to be looking at a couple of different Plants vs. Zombies mini programs. And while all of these games are exclusive to China, well they're just really short versions of Plants vs. Zombies games most of the time. And while there are actually a lot of games for these mini programs, but I'm only going to be going over a few today as well they're just really strange and most of them are basically just the exact same but just retextured. But yeah, first we're going to be starting off with Plants vs. Zombies 2 Future. Now in this game, there's a couple of different worlds, and the home screen on this game has tons of ads on the side of it for whatever reason. As the one thing that you'll notice about Plants vs. Zombies Chinese games is there's always just tons of stuff on the screen asking you to buy stuff. Which is overall just really strange, as it literally covers up like half of the left screen, so yeah, overall it's just really annoying. But yeah, most of the levels in these games are just really short, and well, as you can tell, the plant's sun values are just really weird. As of for whatever reason, a pea shooter costs 94 sun, and a sunflower costs 47 sun, so yeah, overall, these are just really strange amounts of sun that they have. And well, in this game, there's a couple of different modes, including this special delivery mode. As of in this game, you could collect stars, and you could either buy plants with the stars, or also buy some other worlds. And while all they basically are are just really small levels combined into one world. And while these worlds all function the exact same way and don't really have any unique zombies in them, and the only thing that they really add is a couple of different new plants. And while some of these plants are just really weird, as though the majority of them only really show up in one main Plants vs. Zombies game, so yeah, overall it's just really strange to see them in another one. And while that's basically it for all the content in the game, the only really other things that there are is just three other mini games, but besides that, there's really not much in this game at all. Now next up we have Plants vs. Zombies 2 Summon. Now right off the bat, you can clearly tell that this is just really different compared to any other Plants vs. Zombies game, as well as just in this really weird perspective. As well, instead of just zombies coming in front of you, they just come from the left side of the screen and go onto your lawn and attack the plants, and well, some of these plants are really weird. As of in this game, you could actually unlock humans, including Thor. As of if you look in the middle of the lawn here, you could see him, and well, overall, this is just a really strange game that just has some really weird characters that were added to it. And well, as you can tell, under the plants, they have these little level marks, and well, the only way to really level up the plants in this game is by collecting coins. And while that's really the only thing that you can do in this game, you basically just fight the zombies and collect coins and just make your plants more powerful, and slowly over time, the zombies also become more powerful. And while that's basically the entire game, there's around 300 levels in this game, and while they don't really take that long to go for as well, it's just a very simplistic game. As well, it's just really repetitive, as well, you just stay on this one screen for the entire game, so yeah, overall, just a really strange one that I don't really see why you would play. As well, you don't really interact with the game at all, as well, the only thing that you really could do is just click on the coin button when you have enough coins to buy something. Now next up we have Planters of Zombies King Doom. Now, this is much more of a tower defense game than the other games on this list, as well, you place the plants on the side of the map, and they shoot at the zombies, and if the zombies get for your defense, you slowly lose health. And while as you kill the zombies, you slowly get more sun, and over time, you can unlock more plants by getting through the levels, and you basically just buy plants and place them down. And well, this game's actually based off of the Jurassic Marsh world, so most of the zombies actually come from that world, and the scenery around it sort of looks like the Jurassic Marsh. And well, in this game, there's 30 levels, and well, within all these levels, there's a few different waves of zombies, and they progressively get harder to get through. And well, after you beat the 30 levels in the game, that's all you could do, so yeah, it's a very tiny game, as well, but it literally only has 30 levels. And well, each level really only takes around 10 minutes to beat, so yeah, overall, it wouldn't be that hard to actually beat this game. The next up, we have Plants vs. Zombies 2 Clash. Now, this is actually sort of an online PvP game. As well, you can join online lobbies and you can fight against other people, and well, what you do is that you just send other zombies and plants at the other player and you can try to attack their defense. And well, if you get all the way over to the other player's side, they slowly lose health until they fully run out of health and you win. And well, in this game, every time you win a match, you get coins, and over time, you could use the coins to level up your zombies or plants. And well, in this game, the zombies are actually much more used than the plants, as well, there's barely any plants in the game, and there's tons of zombies. And there's actually a ton of unique zombies in this game, and well, the zomb bosses are obviously the most powerful ones, while the weaker ones are like the imp. And well, as you level them up, they slightly get more powerful each level, and while I don't really know how high the level limit is, as well, since not a lot of people ever play this game, it's kind of hard to tell how high the limit could be. And well, outside of the online mode, there's also a couple of different levels. As well, there's a few different worlds in this game, like Ancient Egypt and Dark Ages, and well, in these worlds, they have very few levels in them. 
So yeah, overall, the main gimmick of this game is the online mode, as well, there's just not much else to do if you don't use the online mode. Now, next up, we have Plants vs. Zombies 2 Counter-Strike. Now, in this game, you get a very weird POV of the plants, as well, you're actually seeing the plants from the way that they see it. And, well, besides that change, there's just really not much else they changed about it. As well, it's basically just normal Plants vs. Zombies 2, but they just changed the POV of it. And well, the only really thing that they changed besides that is that you could also have a plant in the middle that you could just use that's off the lawn and basically just attack zombies across the entire board and it's overall just really overpowered. But besides that, there's not much else you could do in this game as it was literally just normal plants versus zombies but just from a different perspective. And well, there's actually 100 levels in this game meaning that it's actually one of the bigger games compared to most of these. And well, next up we have Plants vs. Zombies 2 Revenge. And well, in this game, you only really use one plant at once, as well, you just put it in the pot and attacks the zombies. And well, as you can probably tell, the plant in this game actually uses the exact same graphics as the last game. And well, that's one thing that you'll actually notice with a lot of these small mini programs, as well, they basically just use the exact same graphics, as well, they're all built on the same engine. And well, just to make these games a bit easier to produce, they basically just use most of the same graphics in each of the games. But yeah, for this game, the zombies don't actually really come after you, and they just walk across the screen. And well, when the zombies are walking across the screen, you could shoot at them, and basically when they die, they just drop a ton of coins. And with these coins, you could buy different power-ups, and you could also buy different plants, and also upgrade your plants, So well, that's basically all you do in this game. As of once again, there's not much to interact with as well, but it's mostly just you sit there and just watch the plants do the work. As of unlike the other Plants vs. Zombies games, which are in the main franchise like Plants vs. Zombies 2, you actually have to have some strategy in the game, while in these games, you just have to look at the plants and that's basically all you do. And while there's really only 50 levels in this game, so yeah, overall, there's just not much content, there's not much you could really do in it. Now next up we have Plants vs. Zombies 2 Egypt, and well this definitely has to be one of the smallest games if not the smallest game on the entire list as well this game only has 15 levels. As well this main game is just in the normal ancient Egypt world except it only has 15 levels and well that's about it. As well it's just basically just normal Plants vs. Zombies 2 except it has a few exclusive plants in it and also once again the sun values are all messed up. And well, if you notice something about this game that looks really familiar, it's probably because this is basically just the exact same game as Plants vs. Zombies 2 Future. As well, this is Plants vs. Zombies 2 Future, and this is Plants vs. Zombies 2 Egypt. As you can tell, it's literally the exact same game, except the only thing that's changed are just the themes of them. And well, the special delivery mode that was in Plants vs. Zombies 2 Future is also in this game, and well, it's literally the exact same. As of all the worlds that you can unlock in special delivery mode are the exact same as the ones in Plants vs. Zombies 2 Future, so yeah, this game is just a copy of the other one. So yeah, all this game is is just a one-to-one -one copy to the Plants vs. Zombies 2 Future, except they just changed the theme of the levels, and while all the levels are basically the exact same, except the zombies are just retextured, so yeah, overall it's really strange that they decided to make this. And while I don't really know which game came first, as all the release dates on those games are basically just non-existent, so you can't really tell which game was released first. But yeah, this definitely has to probably be the smallest game on the list, as well, but it just has very few levels. Now next up we have Plants vs. Zombies 2 Renaissance Age. And well, this is actually one of the newer games on this list, and well, this game actually has tons of levels. As well, the majority of these mini program games have less than 100 levels, but this game has 800 levels. And while this game is actually still currently being updated, so over time there's going to be even more levels and they're most likely going to get up to a thousand. So yeah, overall this really isn't a mini program anymore as well, the game is still being updated and has an insane amount of content. And while for what you actually do in this game, you don't actually really do a lot. As well, for basically the entire game, you just stay on this one page, except the world's just changed over time. And well, you basically just have a ton of different plans set up around the top of the screen, and well, they just attack the zombies and you get coins. And well, just like the other games, you could use these coins to unlock new plants and also upgrade your current plants. And well, every few levels, there will be a boss, and after you defeat this boss, you will unlock a chest that just has a ton of stuff in it. And well, for whatever reason, in the middle of the screen, Crazy Dave is there. I don't really know why he's there, as well, he just kind of is there and doesn't really serve much of a purpose. So yeah, overall, this is definitely the most active game out of all of these, as well, but it's literally still being updated and also just has an insane amount of content. 
And well, I'm assuming the reason why it has so many levels is all these levels are actually pretty short and don't really have a lot in them. And well, the only thing that really changes about the game is just the theme of the background and besides that, everything else on the screen stays the exact same. And well, just like some of these other games, you don't really do a lot in it as well, most of the time you're just sitting there watching the plants defeat the zombies. But yeah, those were all the mini programs I'm going to look at today. There's a couple of other ones out there, and well, most of them don't really have any footage of them, so there's really only a few other ones that I could actually go over as well. None of the other ones really have any footage or really any pictures of them out there as well. These games are just really obscure. And most of the ones that I looked at today are the more popular ones as well. These are the ones that actually have footage that's easily gettable, and well, it's overall just a really strange thing that these games even exist in the first place. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, subscribe, and comment down below which of these mini programs are your favorite. And yeah, have a great day.